Welcome to Jurassic Park. No, welcome to the Imagination Station with the Chief Scientist Carl Nelson and Jenny Rowe, who also is with the Imagination Station. She's going to be assisting me. And over there is Mackenzie Keeline. You know her. And she's paired up with Carl for something that's going to be a contest or a competition or what are we doing? A little bit, a little bit of science, a little bit of competition. We are going to launch some trash cans into the air Ooh. using the power of expanding liquid nitrogen. So liquid nitrogen is 320 degrees below, below zero. It's always boiling, always expanding into a gas. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to put some of this liquid nitrogen into the two liter bottle. We're going to cap the bottle. We're going to make a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion, but not in my hand. I'm going to actually drop this in one of the buckets up the front. Those buckets have a little bit of water in them. It's going to let this warm up very quickly. It's going to rupture. We're going to use that power of that expanding gas. Mackenzie and Tony, you're going to put one of these garbage cans right on top of the bucket. Okay. We'll do a little countdown and we're just going to see what happens. All right. I'm not ready. really confident when you always, when you say we're going to see what happens. <laughs> we're, we're doing science. I'm okay. see what so Jenny, go ahead. Gonna we're going to start pouring some liquid nitrogen in. And, and a lot of times when we do this, people will, will say, fill the whole bottle up with nitrogen. And that's really not necessary because the nitrogen expands about 690 times in volume. So just a little bit at the bottom. And Jenny, I'm going for the line near the bottom. That seems like a comfortable amount to make sure that we ensure a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. All right. Everybody got that boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion? It could be a believe if you want to <laughs> call it that. All right. So, Jenny, are you ready? Ready. Got my cap. Now, Mackenzie, pick up your uh, bucket. Tony, get over there. Pick oh, up okay. your bucket. Does it matter which one? No. Either okay. one. Ready. Okay. ready. And, okay, let's okay. go forward here. Okay. And we're going to try to time this. And then once we drop them in, we're going to walk We're going to walk away, okay? Quick. Jenny, here we go. Three, two, one. Just gently sort of cap them up. Okay. We'll drop them in. Put those on top. And let's back away. And we might be able to do a countdown in five, four, three, three two, two, one, one. zero. <laughs> negative, negative one. one. Good. Negative <laughs> two. Carl, what did you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. We missed the videographer. Okay, back in, quick. Back in, everybody. <laughs> I've got. Bilo, you all right? You oh, good? Thumbs up. We've we only have one bucket. So, Jenny, do you do it? Bring it, up, bring it over. Put it bring in the it middle. Up. Okay. And uh, start filling up. What? We, we broke one of the buckets over there. Oh, Jenny's no. going to fill you up, Tony. <gasps> so, My while, while she's racing. doing that, okay. check this out. <laughs> the force of the explosion actually ruptured the bucket. Wow. Okay. Then we had a little water wow. in there. Put that on my tab. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to try it again. <laughs> Jenny's going to add more nitrogen. And remember, it's going to expand. Uh -huh. This is not something you want to try at home no. because you just saw what happened to the Ooh. bucket. But Jenny okay. and I have done this many, many times and sort of have it down to a science. <laughs> but the results may vary. <laughs> every the results single may time. vary. But then, you know, that's, oh. we're doing science. So we have water in that bucket. And that water just serves to speed up the reaction. Tony, grab All right. your trash can. Okay. Okay. And. Jenny will just seal that up. All right, let's go, Tony. This is really just for posterity, since <laughs> this is, we no, already had the dual one. Yeah, but away I know, but here. Okay. The, the, the launching of the trash can never gets old because it takes some time for that nitrogen to warm up, build up about 300 PSI of pressure inside the bottle. <laughs> She's hiding and, behind oh, you. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, two one. one. Yes. Kids love it. Oh man. Now, now Tony. That I, one you timed yeah, out just right. I, I shared with you some high speed footage of what that looks like. Uh -huh. And when, when you see that uh, thing explode, the trash can just totally deforms and it just it takes off about 40 miles per hour. Now why does the wow. trash can deform? Well it's soft plastic and there's so much force from that expanding gas. And when you watch that footage, you can just see it just like blue blows out right. and then it comes back in and then it takes off. What if you use something more durable like a metal? You could. Now, the problem with doing that is that the metal stuff gets heavier and it doesn't fly as high. So I found that this trash can works great for height and mostly for durability. Sometimes it cracks, but for the most part, <laughs> it really goes up nicely. Yeah, it definitely went pretty high. <laughs> the tree's so, okay. Tree, yeah. Trash can launch. <laughs> no trees were harmed during the making of this. Imagine it outside the Imagination Station, but that's how you imagine it.